Medieval North America. The first North American towns appeared in the Mississippi Valley during the 700s. In Colorado, the Anasazi were building villages called Pueblos. The first true North American towns appeared along the Mississippi and Ohio rivers, now known as the Temple Mound culture, that each town had a earth a central plaza with up to 20 rectangular earth mounds around it. On top of these were temples to the dead. A palisade, a wooden wall, that surrounded the plaza would surround the plaza uh, outside, with up to 10,000 people living in longhouses with adobe, which is a dried mud, walls, and thatched roofs. The people traded along the rivers, possibly taking copper from Wisconsin to Mexico. They hunted for meat and were also farmers. They grew corn, sunflowers, seeds, and pumpkins. They made war with the tribes, such as the Algonquin, and first used bows and arrows around 800. The Temple Mound culture reached its peak during the 1100s, but mysteriously disappeared by 1450. Elsewhere, permanent villages' cultures were developing. Uh, the woodland Americans of the East were farmers, hunters, and traders. The Plains tribes, who were usually nomadic buffalo herders, began building riverside farming villages around 900. On the Pacific coast, there were many food-collecting, hunting, and fishing peoples. Some of them already lived in permanent villages and had well-developed societies. In the far north, the hunting Inuit were even trading with the Vikings around 1,000. The Cree, Chippewa, and Algonquin tribes in Canada lived, uh, close, lived their lives close to nature and had little contact with foreigners and traders. Uh, the Pueblo cultures. In the southwest, several cultures thrived between 700 and 1300. Uh, these were the Anasazi, Hohokam, and Magalon. I again, I'm. Uh, I should just put a note somewhere that, uh, especially with the uh, the the one on Islam I did earlier. Uh, when pronouncing things in languages I'm not comfortable with, basically anything that's not English, Spanish, or French, uh, I'm going to butcher it. I do not mean to disrespect any of these peoples, but uh, it's 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 hard. Okay. Continuing, the predecessor. Uh, so. The Anasazi, the Hohokam, and the Mogollon are the ancestors of today's Hopi. Uh, they were f trader farmers living in small towns. After 700, these people moved from pit houses, which were large roofed-over holes, into large multi-story communal buildings, some housing up to 250 people. They used irrigation systems and relied on sky watchers, who were noble shamans who predicted the rains. And by 1300, these unique cultures had disappeared. <laughs> 